Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Haven't really been motivated to record this in a while, but you know, I, I'm back. We're better than ever. And this time, I think I'll be using a new character, Kane. Who has the luck foot item which makes you more lucky for items I think and he has more default damage and speed but less health so we'll see what Kane this Kane run has to offer and let's go honestly I I've been really really mad with Isaac lately because I s I'm sucking, but honestly, like after talking to <laughs> after talking to Cookie about Isaac and like how fucking stupid it is, I'm actually more motivated to play it now because at first I I used to think that I was just really really bad. What the hell? Do I shoot flies? I used to think that I was just really bad, but it's a, it's just that this game is really damn hard. So yeah, and it it does look like the performance of this game is not doing so well, but it also looks like. The... I, I have a chance to shoot flies and I guess they do more damage or something I don't know but got Larry Jr. this game is lagging a lot I don't know why but we'll, we'll just deal with it Oh my god, at least it was just a spirit heart and not like my, my own hearts, although, or soul hearts, sorry. <laughs> this isn't very a very hard boss, especially when there's only one of them, so. I shouldn't be taking any more stupid damage and hopefully we get like a good upgrade as a result of beating this boss. And hopefully since we have luck foot we get more lucky. I don't actually know what the hell this is. Damage up and range, okay. That's that's pretty good I'd say. <laughs> I've never even got that item before, so Maybe. This, this, this fly. It's really good. It has the effect of like uh, Guppy's head. Like when, when. I think it's like every time you hit an enemy, you have a random chance of spawning a fly, probably. If I could just rack them up by just shooting, I think it would be a little bit over overpowered. With the item room. X-ray goggles, very nice. I can go into the secret room without needing to pay or anything. Always a good thing. Just go up here. I don't want to accidentally enter the boss room or something. You know? And you know, since I don't really have any keys or anything, uh, I feel like I don't really need to explore the whole floor. Maybe that's a bad decision, but. 
maybe I'm, I miss out on some tinted rocks or something, but I don't know. I, oh no, I hate these enemies. It's like I, it's, it's impossible not to take a hit. It's so annoying. Oh, speaking of tinted rocks, there is one over there, but I don't have any bombs, so. Sucks to suck, I guess. Oh yeah, and you also need get to find the super secret room, which is a good one, but sometimes it's just like chests with enemies in them. It's like why, why make it super secret if you're not gonna make a good upgrade, but whatever. I might, I might use the slot machine, maybe to try to, to try to get more bombs. Hopefully, get a bomb out of this, so that I can blow up that tinted rock. Puberty. Okay. Cool. It doesn't do anything except change my look. So, another pill bombs are key. Magic. Health up. That is insanely good. I'll, I'll just go to the boss, honestly. Like a tinted rock, it's good, but you don't need it, you know? Hopefully, it's not. I don't get like peep or something. And, okay, famine. Famine's a boss that I fought a lot. I know how it works. So. It should be fine despite only being half a heart on one and a half hearts of health. I say as I take two hits, okay? Still not too scared. These shots from famine are easy to avoid. And then I can take out that fly afterwards from the distance because my I got good range. And of course I got a cube of meat after after you take out a horseman of the apocalypse then you get um a cube of meat. Okay. Oh no. Oh my god, I got so lucky with my cube of meat there. I should have taken hits for sure. Like, honestly? Oh my god, this is a terrible room. These flies are really hard. But I got another health upgrade, which is very nice. I would like some hearts though. Loki's horns, extra tears. Oh! That seems very nice. It's like uh, mom's... Like mom's eye or something, which lets you shoot in the... Which, le which lets you shoot backwards. Honestly, I might just go into the shop to see if there's like hearts or anything. But it also might be greed, so I will not do that. Now if I stand here, I can shoot at both flies. If I So let's let's start our first one with Kane. He actually starts off with a key as well. So that Yeah, I'm so mad. Um, dude, that was such a good run. Portable slot. What does this do? I imagine if I have money, then it just has the effect of a slot machine. A portable slot machine, which makes that that would make sense. This might be good, but also might be shit. I don't know. Let's take out this double spider again. In the cellar, the wrath of the lamb. 
it's a harder version of the basement. Which honestly, from what I've heard right now, I like this is that's my favorite song. We got Widow, the first boss I ever fought. I've gotten better since since I first fought Widow, but Widow is still a very hard boss, so I will probably die. Kane not really faring too well right now. Dude. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. And I, of course, I get- you know what? I, I'm restarting. I don't like- the, the Curse of the Labyrinth makes the game so much harder because it makes the floor so much bigger. I am not about to deal with that. So I'm just gonna reset again. Alright, hopefully we get better luck this time. We got gluttony. Not that hard, but... One of the harder of the seven deadly sins, I'd say. Just because I'm bad at dodging and the, that attack is still hard for me to dodge. That was me not being smart about my placement and being bad at dodging. I suck today. <laughs> but we do get a heart, which is HP up. Very nice. So now I'm basically a more buff Isaac. Which is, it does, I like that about about this character actually. Because you don't you don't come across very many damage upgrades. So Okay. Rom's bra, it freezes the room's enemies when you use it. But yeah, the damage upgrades seem to be pretty rare, so it's definitely good to have that extra damage right off the bat. Because HP upgrades are a lot more common in my experience. I got Monstro significantly easier of a boss. Probably the easiest boss in like the entire game. Monstro and Larry Jr. And they're, they're also like the beginner bosses, so... The bosses that you would not- you'd probably see first when you're first playing this game. And you know what? I should just use Mom's Bra, honestly. Monstro's easy, but if you want to take him out faster, then... Okay, and we got an HP up! Nice, very very nice. This shaving up to be a nice one as well. Especially f since I got a lot of good stuff just on the first floor. Hopefully, we can get on a run that maybe maybe uh, gets to mom's heart. I have actually gotten to Mom's Heart once off camera. I did die, so I have not beaten the game yet. But I did get very close 
despite not having very m much health. So, there is hope. Uh, I I know that I can beat this game. It doesn't it doesn't feel impossible. It's just very unfair, like a lot of the time. I just, dude, what? I should probably look for secret rooms more often. I mean, I, I can't right now. I, well, I, now I can because I'm a bomb. Okay, infestation. Every time you get hit, you let out a fart. I think. So it'll be pretty useful because I suck at dodging. I forgot what I was talking about. Not that bad. <laughs> so much is happening with all at once, so it's hard to keep track of what you're talking about when so much is going on in the game plus just talking about random like tangents it, it's good that a lot of stuff happens at once in the game because that means there will not be dead air as often as like a star grinding or terraria episode so Oh, okay. So infestation is actually for every time you get hit, those flies get let out. Let's check out the deal of the devil. No thank you. <laughs> Both items that are not necessary right now. really surprised I didn't get hit there. I was doing a pretty piss poor job of dodging. And I'm not complaining. Okay. These enemies are probably top five most annoying to take out. That's because you have to kill them twice in a very short succession of time. So they can take a while. They can be useful if you have the vamp the vampirism upgrade. Because every time you get them down to that ooze state, it counts as a kill. And with that upgrade, every 13 kills you get a half a heart. So if you're patient you can reach you can refill on your health which is very useful of course health is the most important resource in this game by far <laughs> so Okay. Oh, come on, dude. I hit him into me. Okay, got these enemies. Standard. Oh, come on, dude. Can I just sneak by you real quick? Okay. What? Get a key, look for the item room, look for the boss room, and then we'll be off. Not these enemies again. There's only two of them, so it won't be so bad. <laughs> I 
Shouldn't I was like, shouldn't they be following me? All right, we got a stake, a stigmata, damage and health. So, Kane, very lucky character, which is very nice because it that it's just. Luck is actually such an important factor, especially if you're not that good at the game. We have sort of a... the rich get richer situation with this game. Where the less you take damage, the better off you'll be in terms of, like, items and being able to use them properly. So far, not having that much trouble. They got good damage, they got a good amount of health. I would I would take a devil deal for maybe the Ouija board, which gives me spectral shots, which allow me to shoot through, um, shoot through rocks and shoot through like poop and fire. So, oh my god, these enemies are like top three most annoying to kill, honestly. Because they just run away and shoot flies, which block your shots. They're not hard at all, they're just really annoying. Don't be great. Okay. Not that useful. I mean, ladder, the ladder is kind of useful, but I'd also rather have a soul heart and a bomb. So I'll take that. It's the boss room. Okay. Wow! Oh! Dude! Kane? I don't know if I'm just like coincidentally lucky, but this luck foot, man, it's paying some dividends. Okay. We got a fistula. Probably like the third easiest boss, but it can slip trip you up because the, there can be a lot of things happening at once. Plus these maggots that charge at you can sometimes corner you and then you take dumb damage by a random fistula because you're concentrated on the maggots. out and then we'll be on the, on our way to the caves too. Very nice run so far. And we got another HP upgrade. Wow. We got five additional hearts and we're only on the start of the caves too. What the hell is that? like a, a harder version of those meat things. Oh, I'm gonna use mom's bra. I feel like it would be a good point to use it so that I don't just take dumb damage. Okay. Let's go onward. I guess I'd like a better uh, spacebar item. Like maybe this is the. It would be insane if I got it, but like a book of revelations, <laughs> or like I don't know.
maybe like a guppy's paw <laughs> would be pretty insane. Oh my goodness. This room layout is really, really annoying. $3 bill, which gives me random tears. That seemed very random to me. But... Oh well. <coughs> <coughs> Not these enemies, plus the tinted rock. I wish I could open this chest, but unfortunately I cannot. Alright. Dude. This room layout plus this enemy makes it very, very humbug to kill them. Alright, just these enemies. Very annoying that I took a hit there because I shouldn't be. But... Oh my god. Hopefully, we don't get a hard boss here. I'll use the key on this chest. Maybe there's something good in it. Not really worth it, but. Please, please don't be hard. Okay, that's not the worst. That's not the worst boss I could have gotten. Definitely not favorable. When I was praying for an easy boss, I, I mainly just wanted to not encounter people. But you know, Gertie, Gertie, Gertie can kill some runs, so come on, you just gotta be careful. This is actually a terrible room layout for Gertie too, so I might just die. Dude, these flies are... Oh, you know what? I forgot I had this. Dude, kill the flies, dude. Why can't I kill the flies? Oh my goodness. I made it out alive. Holy shit. That was insane. Dude, the death is so hard. Should I explore this room? This, this, oh no. I'll just go down. Hopefully it's not Necropolis. Okay, it's, it got, that's a silver lining. Tears up is very important though, so. Hopefully, I can get to this. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible for me. Heart, please. This isn't looking very good. And, like, a really hard enemy it just shows up. Ah, man. That sucks. That really sucks. But Kane, Kane seems to be pretty good. So, I'll probably keep using him until I get far, like, to the womb or something. I don't know. Dude, this game's just so hard. It's crazy.
I'll do one more. <laughs> I, I, I was doing the outro and then I looked at... I was about to do the outro and then I looked at the time I, sp I spent recording and it was only at half an hour. So you know what? <laughs> uh, one more, one more. And if it, if it doesn't die in like the basement, then this will be the last one. There's a lot of tinted rocks on this floor, so. Hopefully I get something, get some bombs. Wrath, that's a good sign for getting bombs. Since the boss is basically just bomber man. One tinted rock right here. This is the key. Not the most <laughs> exciting thing to get. It's not nothing. We got champion famine, which allows him to shoot. Which is not very good. But doesn't seem to be able to spit flies, so that's at least something. And when he shoots, instead of just three, he shoots like a monstro barf. But we got two soul hearts and an eternal heart, which is insane. So when I go down to this floor, the eternal heart will become a full heart, and I have... It's basically just an HP upgrade. So, Kane, Kane is just kind of insane. Very nice usage of the attack fly to just mow down all the other flies. Alright, let's head to the item room, and then I'll just go down to the, the box. Alright, item is right here, I'll be able to go into this arena room also. Since I have full health, Let's see what's in there. I'll open the chest. We got a matchstick. Increases our chance of of finding bombs in a, any room. Not the best trinket, but if we can get more bombs. I'm not complaining. Because bombs are very important, especially on rooms that you don't want to deal with. So you just blow them away with explosions. I get another chest. A key and a coin. That's that's pretty good. Okay, we got Monstro's Tooth. It spawns Monstro. And it comes down and ground pounds the enemy, or in this case, the boss. Duke flies. Very nice. Oh, he just one shot him. Wow. Okay, that, that was actually a lot more useful than I thought it would be. We got Pageant Boy. Good. Deal with the devil. 
Um, Book of Sin, maybe? You know what? I'll take it. I'll actually take it. Since I have better luck, maybe you get better items from the Book of Sin. they're not hard. At least they're not those mask enemies where you have to kill the, their heart. Come on. Great. This layout is Probably my least favorite layout since it takes so damn long. Okay, it's in here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, okay. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but tinted rocks also seem to be showing up a lot more. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but you know what? I'm a lot luckier with Kane than the many Isaac and Magdalene runs that I have have done. So Kane might be my go-to if I just want to do well in a run. Although I'm, I'm not doing very well here. But that's more because of my own ineptitude than because of the character itself. As, as demonstrated by my high amount of damage taken by this room. Alright, let's get the Book of Sin. Another Spirit Heart. What? Fine. I'll just do it. Some more, more pennies and bombs. Always very nice to have. Okay. So far, since we're in the case one, this isn't very bad. It isn't as bad. Okay. Let's finish this. Uh, we got more of these. if we get anything. We get a key. Not bad. Not bad at all. We can probably head over to the shop, which is what I will do right now. Oh, we got map. Map is very nice. Map is very useful. Um... Uh, nah. I'll, I'll, I'll save. I'll save up. In case the next shop has a good item. Or two. Because the lower you are, I think the better the shops are, so... I don't know if that's true, but it would make sense for that to be a thing. Maybe there's a lot of money here, so I can just spend my money on a key and a tarot card anyway. 
which is what I will do. The Hermit, I think it teleports you to the shop? So that might be useful. You can save a key. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit again. Terrible room layout. Basically just impossible to not get hit on, which is cool. And more of these enemies, which is not this is off. I took a full heart of damage. Why? I didn't. Oh, dude. Oh. This is. This episode was just good runs that just go to shit. But. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, this game is just like. So damn hard. What are challenges? I didn't mean to do that. I guess they make the game even harder, <laughs> which is really cool. You only have 30 out of the 113 items, which is crazy. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this episode more than I did. <laughs> but I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. And I will see you next time with hopefully better luck and, and, and better skill. <laughs>